Hi, Adam. It is 4.08 p.m. Currently in North Bay it's minus 6 and mostly cloudy. Today, there will be snow, with a forecasted high of minus 3 and a low of minus 6. On your way to work, traffic is lighter than usual. It is 8 minutes by car. Have a good one. And welcome to my vlog. Well, you guys know the time, you guys know what the weather is. I don't know what else to tell you. It is what it is. Expect snow. Which means tomorrow is going to be a blurry day. <laughs> tomorrow is going to be a shovel day. For today, it's a work day. Right now, it's coffee time. I really want a coffee. I already had a coffee. I've just been sitting at my desk trying to think of what I'm going to vlog about today. When it suddenly hit me, I have no freaking idea. And that's a problem. So, something I just want to make clear here. I say I'm going to upload a video every day at 9 a.m. But seeing how I don't really have any projects on the go, there may come a time at 9 a.m. where you might not see a video up. And like I said, guys, and I explained this in yesterday's video, for a little bit anyway, on my way to Walmart when I talked about how I got into it with my friend about how YouTube is not a job. And I'm going to explain that a little bit more. Basically, for me, YouTube is kind of like the same as that person who, you know, like my friend, for instance, she does a lot of knitting. She knits a lot of really cool like toques and mitts and stuff and she actually um recently got into the superhero stuff she made some mitts that look like tony stark's gauntlets and on the palm there's the uh repulsor beams and she sells them on etsy but she also has a job she just does the the knitting and selling on etsy as a part-time thing just to make a little extra scratch to buy whatever you know buy things for me youtube is no different i'm not making physical property and you guys aren't buying anything from me. All you're doing is you're consuming the content I create and the little ad blurbs on the bottom are generating revenue for me. Not very much, mind you, but it's still revenue for me. Hobby money, if you will. Then you got the people on Etsy. I'm using Etsy, but you know, there's Ebayers and there's resellers and all that where basically they, they run their own business. And to me, that's what YouTube is. You're either A, a hobbyist like me where you're just doing this as a hobby a little part-time job not even a job a little part-time operation you know you're, you're you're making some youtube videos having a fun time whatever the case may be and whatever scratch you make you know make it or break it it's not going to hurt your lifestyle because you don't really depend on this scratch to make it your ends meet because you have a physical job you report to a boss so on so forth and that's how my friend is with etsy it's not really her primary source of income, but who says that a little extra scratch now and then doesn't help with an itch? You know what I'm saying? Just gives her some extra money that she can spend on, on whatever. There's a lot of people out there that do this kind of stuff where it's, it's a side gig. And that's what I was trying to explain to my buddy. YouTube is not a job. The definition of a job would require employment. At no given time did I submit a resume to YouTube and say, Hey man, are you looking for a content creator? No. What I did was I made a series of videos or a product that people enjoy consuming or using or whatever the case may be. Therefore, I'm an entrepreneur, if you will. Business operator. Well, I want to grab a garbage bag while I was down there. Damn it. So that's where I'm getting at. Like when when I hear my friends say, oh, I wish my, my job was a YouTuber. Well, no. If you want to be a YouTuber as a job, YouTube would have to employ you. Like I said, anybody can do this. There is no application. There is no, you know, requirements. Am I out of garbage bags? Yeah. Okay, cool. And that's what I'm getting at. And the thing is, is sometimes you just don't have time for your hobby. And sometimes you gotta take life by the horns, you know? And sometimes you just, you're not sure what to do. You're not sure how to go forward with your hobby. You have writer's block, creator's block, whatever the case may be. So sometimes it's good to sit her out and, and figure it out and come at it fresh. You know, I know I, I've done this here for like many years prior. I, I went straight for seven years before I finally shut her down because of depression. And I'm telling you right now, it's not depression why I'm, why there might not be a video every, every day. But it's just that it's winter time and it's not exactly an exciting time because I don't really do anything in the winter. And I've said that multiple times on previous vlogs. What I'm basically getting at is, is times are slow and I just don't want to put up a video for the sake of putting up a video because that's when people are going to lose interest, right? Basically what I want to do is I want to try and entertain and you know, it'd be like the person who 
just knits because people expect to buy knitted stuff. It'd be like the person who bakes because, not because they enjoy it, because now they have to, because the, the demand is there. The problem is, is when that happens, the quality goes down, right? Uh, you, you're trying to produce more knitted goods, you're trying to produce more buns or cakes or whatever the case may be. So you find shortcuts and ways to cut time, but by doing that, the quality goes with it. And in my mind, I don't really want to do that. I'm not saying my videos are top-notch, friggin' ultra, amazing videos. I'm just saying that if I try and force these vlogs, it's gonna get crappy. And you guys are gonna see it, because I'm gonna be like, trying to force content. You know, like yesterday was rough because I didn't really do anything. Like, I, I'm honest when I say I don't do anything in the winter. And I know, like, Rex told me, oh, buy a sled, man. Come out and ride with the boys. And right now is not a good time for that because I don't know what my future holds. Like, I explained. With Bill uh, 47 coming in to replace 148, I could be getting into a tough situation where I'm going to really have to hanker down and watch my spending. And luckily, I have the capabilities to do that. But if I go out and you know, buy a sled and insure it and all that, that's extra money coming out of the account that I don't want to come out of the account, that's going to cause some complications and I prefer to avoid that. And unlike my previous YouTube on here, I used to go out and spend money just to create content and I kid you not, I used to do that. I would go out and purchase things just so I had some content for that day because I'd be like, oh man, what am I going to do today? Oh man. Maybe I should get a new camera. Maybe I should do this. I would actually go out and do stuff like that just to have content. And that's not good. Definitely not good. It's fine if you're somebody like McJuggernuggets who, you know, his whole channel is based off destroying stuff. Or I should say having his dad destroy stuff. That's fine if you're in that boat because he's also making a lot of that, well, he was making a lot of that money back off the videos. So like when his dad would destroy a, a $300 Xbox or, you know, a PlayStation 4 or a Nintendo Wii or whatever the case may be. Um, he would make that money back and then some, so he could afford to dump cash into videos to have them done like that. I just want to make videos because I have fun making videos. But if there's no content, there's nothing to talk about and I'm struggling to come up with an idea for a video, well then I don't want to force it because you guys are going to know it was forced. It's, it's, you can tell like when I watch like for instance, Kid Behind a Camera, I can tell right now they're running out of ideas. So, once again, Bridget shaves Michael's eyebrows. Jennifer and Bridget are in a fight. Just like before, just like before, just like before. It's all like rinse and repeat because they are they have no idea. They don't know what to do. You know, they left a couple stories wide open, which is kind of funny. Um, the Halloween. When Jesse and Swift went to visit, there was the haunting experience where Jesse went into the attic and they found that, that paperwork and then there was that, that, that body moving across the yard and they just kind of left it open. There's so much more they could have done with that and they just never went with it. But now he's back to his old shaving of the eyebrows, shaving uh, Jennifer and Bridget are mad at each other next thing you know they're gonna break up again and it's like I don't want to get into a slump like that a creator slump where I'm not sure how to go forward so what I'm trying to say is if for some reason there's a day where there's no video no I'm not in prison no I'm not having complications I just have nothing the video that day so I didn't bother I don't want to get like I was before as well because before I used to force the videos because I felt like oh you must make a video every day this is your job this is your this is what they expect of you and no no that's not what should be expected what should be expected is go on YouTube watch videos that that's it you know don't treat us like a Hollywood series like like a, a TV show where every week there's a new episode and when there's a week that comes up and they play a repeat because of whatever reason, it is what it is. That's what I'm getting at. I guess you could say I got writer's block. I don't know where to go from here. You know, there's some stuff going on in my life that I just don't want to air on YouTube. I learned my lesson in the past. And I'm telling you right now, if something happens that I do ever uh, hook up with a, with a lady again, this is probably the last place I'll broadcast it. Because I learned my lesson in the past with having my ex on the channel. There was a lot of mean people that caused some serious ripples in our relationship and that was like the straw that broke the camel's back at the time and i don't need 
people I don't know influencing my life in that aspect. You know, things were great. I got on YouTube, things were great for the first couple of years, and then all of a sudden it just went south in a heartbeat. And I don't really, really want to live that life again. Like, I always told myself, if something interfered with my personal life, I'd shut her down harder than, than, than anything else. I would just quit. And I don't know why I didn't quit this back then, because this caused a lot of complications. So that's why it's like, I'll just, you know, do what I do, but if it comes to a point where I can't do it anymore, then so be it. But like, I'm hoping you guys understand. I'm not quitting by any means necessary. I'm just saying there's gonna be days where there's dry spots and there's no video up at 9 a.m. Also, I'm gonna try and keep more personal things personal because uh, it's kind of none ya, you know what I mean? None ya business. I think that's probably the safest way to do it because uh, I don't need people cocking over the program for me, you know what I'm saying? I kind of got a little out of line in the past talking about relationships with my friends and all that and I realized that afterwards that probably wasn't a good idea and decided that going forward if I'm too preoccupied that day with personal business that I don't want aired on YouTube, then there just won't be a video for that day. That's the way the game is played. Obviously, you know, back in the day when I was making good YouTube money, that was more of an influence. And it's kind of sad that that was an influence because I was also making better real world money. So I should have been focusing on the real world money than the, the mailbox money. And ever since that apocalypse, when everything took a dump, this this money means nothing. It's like, it's pennies. Here's 50 bucks every couple months, have a nice day kind of an operation, right? So it's not really a deciding factor anymore. I do enjoy making the content. I just wish life was more exciting to make it about, you know what I'm saying? Some things aren't meant to be put on YouTube. I'm, I'm hoping you guys understand that. Well, I'm gonna go and rock a workout because I just slammed me a free workout shake and boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm feeling ready to lift. It's pitter patter and have at her, people. And there we go. Workout is complete, people. Also, got me a nice delicious steak for dinner. I'm gonna drive that in my face, drink a bunch of water, and go from there. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, and I'm wearing a 3XL. Look, can you tell? Can, can you, can you? Even after destroying that steak, I still want more protein. I'm gonna whip myself up one of my new chocolate shakes that I got with some collagen. Cause that chocolate kind is a good kind. The cookies and cream isn't too bad, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm never gonna get it again. I'm just gonna tie the dog up and then let him out. The, the top viewfinder. If you have it back too far, it flips it upside down. And I thought this camera was like the GoPro where if you uh, if you flip the GoPro upside down, it'll actually flip the video for you so you can mount it. You know, it's universally mounted in a vehicle or on your helmet or whatever the case may be. And it'll always be sunny side up. No, just the way I had the viewfinder. It scared me for a minute because uh, I've been having some issues with this camera, but it's not the camera. It was the SD card. Alrighty, got myself a collagen enhanced protein shake. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a glass of that. Uh, I've been using uh, one of my old e-juice mixers uh, because it has milliliters on the side to uh, prepare my aloe vera juice for a drink. And the reason why I do this is so that I can make sure I'm taking in 120 mil a day down the hatch. <sighs> Not too bad. Not too bad. I always make a face when I drink it, but it's just because it's a lot to take in in one gulp. But I like it because it's just chock full of vitamins and... I've noticed that my skin has been getting a lot clearer. Uh, every once in a while lately, I've been breaking out in the hives, but ever since I started taking that stuff, I haven't had any more breakouts or weird bumps on my body or, or anything like that. So it could also be a combination of the fact that all I eat now is meat. I've been rocking that carnivore life, which is also the reason why I like the aloe vera juice because it helps me get in vitamins that I wasn't getting, or that I'm not getting by not eating plants. So, two birds stoned at once. Anywho, people, I just woke up from a nap because I go into work, like, very shortly. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna end the vlog here for tonight because there's not much else going on. I gotta head into work shortly, and then it is what it is. So on that note, I'm gonna shut her down, edit it up, probably edit it up tomorrow because it's 10.15, I gotta leave in 15 minutes. So, yeah, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, you know. Hopefully you understand why daily vlogs are probably not a good thing this time of year, because I really don't do much. Lately all it's been is 
you know, work out and I'm not about to film that because who wants to watch a guy like me just sit there and flex rods? It's that's stupid. It's more fun doing it than it is watching it. But yeah, hopefully you all understand the reasons and uh, go with it. Like I say, I don't want to force logs and it just really doesn't make sense to do that because yeah, it just doesn't make sense. But uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video uh, for what what it was. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.